What's up guys, Justin here with thesketchupessentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, we're gonna check out all the different ways that you can create copies of objects inside of SketchUp. All right, so this video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is my in-depth course for teaching you how to learn SketchUp. Um, not only does it have, uh, I believe it's over 14 hours of SketchUp instruction, but there's also group calls where we get on, we talk about SketchUp, there's a community forum where you can ask questions to make sure that you don't get stuck. It's really a great place to learn SketchUp. So if you're interested in that, make sure to check it out at the sketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so there's a lot of different functions you can use to create copies inside of SketchUp. And so we'll talk through kind of how you can do it as well as some of the times that you might use these different functions. So first thing, I mean, obviously the easiest way to copy something is going to be to select it and then do an edit copy and then an edit paste or a control C and a control V. And so notice how when I create a copy right here, basically what it does is it takes this copy and locks it to my mouse so that I can click to place this second copy. So this is gonna be probably the simplest way to create a copy. So this is great for creating quick, simple copies inside of your scene. Now, that's a great function, but what it doesn't do is it doesn't give you a whole lot of control over the different objects that you're working on or working with inside of your model. So for example, let's say that I wanted to create a copy of this table right here up on the roof. So if I do a control C and a control V, notice how my base point where I place this is just kind of off in space, right? So it's not anywhere specific. It's just kind of like hanging out in space. And so whenever I place this, I can't be super precise with the way that I place it. However, if you use the move tool to create copies, what you can do is you can use what's known as copy mode in order to copy things. So the way that that works is you can tap the M key to activate the move tool with the object selected, and then you can click. Well, when you click, notice how this moves around. But if you tap the control key instead, what that's gonna do is that's gonna create a copy with a base point on the point that you had selected. So instead of me getting a base point off in space, right? So if I tap the M key, click, and then tap the control key, notice how I can set the base point to be like the base of this chair or something like that. So this is gonna be a much faster way and more precise way to create copies inside of your model. And so in SketchUp 2021, they made that a toggle, meaning that before what would happen is you would click in order to place this, tap the control key, and then you would click again, and copy mode would toggle back off, right? So if I clicked here, then I would have to tap the control key again in order to toggle that off. Well now, when I tap the control key, copy mode stays on, meaning that I can place as many copies of this as I want inside of SketchUp. So I can do this just like this. So I can do the same thing over here, where I can just create a number of different copies really quickly by toggling that on and off. And so sometimes what you wanna do is you don't just wanna create individual random copies like this. What you wanna do instead is you wanna create copies in a line. So the move tool actually has a function that allows you to do that. So the way that that works is you can click in here and let's go ahead and select an object like this tree. Well, what I wanna do with this tree is I wanna create a number of copies in a line this way. Well, remember how before what we did is we set our base point by clicking with the object selected. We tap the control key in order to place this, right? Well, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna click but then I'm not going to click on anything else. So notice how I haven't clicked on anything. Well now, what you can do is you can type in times or the star key and the number of copies that you want. So if I type in a value of five and hit the enter key, that's gonna create five copies in a line. And notice how this is live, meaning as long as I don't click on something else, if I type in times three and hit the enter key, it's gonna adjust the number of copies. If I type in times six, and hit the enter key, it's gonna create six copies. So you can use this move tool array function um, in order to create multiplications or multiple copies in a direction. In addition, you can also use the move tool to create copies between points. So if I tap the M key right here, single click and tap control, just like I did before, but now I want to click right here in my scene. So I've placed my first copy and I'm not gonna click on anything else. 
Well then, I'm going to type in forward slash or divided by and the number of copies I want. So if I type in divided by five, this is going to give me five equally spaced copies between this point and this point. If I type in divided by seven, it's going to give me seven copies. So it stays active just like what we talked about before. So in addition, not only can you create copies using the move tool, you can also create copies using the rotate tool. So the way that that works is very similar to the way the move tool works. So I'm going to select this object. I'm going to tap the Q key to activate the rotate tool. And I'll tap the up arrow key to lock this on the blue axis. But notice how now what we do is we set a base point. We set a start point and we set a finish point. Right, that's how the rotate tool works. But you can also tap the control key in order to create a copy using the move tool or the rotate tool in copy mode. So I could create a copy right here using this tool. So you can use this to create individual copies. The rotate tool also has the same array functions that the move tool has. So for example, let's say I was to tap the control key, single click, and set my start point right here. And I'm going to tap the control key. I'm going to create a copy right at this point right here. Well, then what I could do is I could type in times and a number of copies. So if I type in 10, it's going to create 10 copies. If I type in times eight, it'll create eight copies. So you can use this in order to create copies inside of SketchUp along an arc. And you can also do that using the divide tool. So the divide tool would work the same way, right? You would tap the Q key set your base point right here. But this time, when we tap control and go into copy mode, we would create the final point that we want. So maybe right here. Well, then if I type in divided by and then a number, so let's say four, for example, it'll create four equally spaced copies between this point and this point along this arc. And again, that's live. So if I type in divided by seven, divided by six, it's gonna give you copies of this based on the number that you type in here. So you can use this to create both multipl multiplied and divided copies inside of SketchUp. All right, so now let's take a look at some of the more, um, the more advanced functions for things like this inside of SketchUp. So first off, sometimes when you're trying to organize a model, you want things to go inside of certain groups. So for example, with this model, our site is kind of in a group. Right, if I click on this, you can see how all of our site stuff is grouped right here. But these two chairs are not in my site model like I would like them to be. And so one thing you could do is you could do a cut and paste, right? You could do a control X, then you could double click inside of this group, and then you could do a control V, and then you have to move these around in order to try to place them where they were before, right? So it definitely works. So those objects, now that I've pasted them, are now contained inside of this group right here. But they got moved because they didn't get placed precisely where they were before. Well, what you can do instead is you can take these objects, select them, and then do an edit, cut, or a control X. And then you can double click inside of your group. And then you can do an edit, paste in place. So what that does is that takes your objects and it pastes them in, a, in the exact same location that they were in before. So this is an excellent tool for taking objects and putting them inside of or outside of different groups. And so sometimes, kind of similar to the paste in place, you want to copy paste objects into groups, but there's a little bit easier way to kind of visualize the groups. And so the way that we keep those organized is using the, the outliner over here. Well, in this case, what we can do is we can select the object inside of the outliner instead of clicking it on the screen. So what I can do is I can click right here and notice how when I click on something in the outliner, it gets selected on my screen. Well, then I can do a control X to cut it, but then I can double click inside of this other group like this, and I can do an edit paste in place. So while the function is still you're cutting it and pasting it, you're using the outliner to control what group you're placing this into. So it gives you more control than you coming over here and just doing like a double click and a double click and a double click to try to get inside of a group. All right, so in addition to there being a number of different copy tools built into SketchUp, there's also extensions that you can download in order to expand this functionality even further. So for example, sometimes you want to create copies along a path like this one.
So what you could do is you could just manually come in here and just create copies, right? So just click, click, click in order to place these in here. But a lot of the time it's gonna be faster to create copies using an extension called Path Copy, which I will link to in the notes down below. This Path Copy is gonna allow you to select a path and then click on an object in order to create a copy of it. And then once you do that, notice how this is following along this path. And I did have to weld this into a single edge um, or a single curve, but notice what you can do is you can type in the distance between the copies. So 10 inches is obviously not right, but if you type in 10 feet, that's gonna place these at a 10 foot spacing. If you typed in 20 feet and hit the enter key, it's gonna create copies along this path at 20 feet. So you can use this in order to create copies along paths inside of SketchUp. And this is excellent for creating copies along curved paths as well. And so sometimes you wanna create copies that actually kind of adjust the orientation of objects. So for example, sometimes you wanna create copies of something that basically add a spin or a rotation to an object. So there's a, there's a SketchUp extension called Memory Copy, which you can download and use to do something just like that. So what you would do, so for example, let's say that I wanted to take this piece right here and create a copy. So let's say I wanted to copy these every 10 feet like this, and let's say that I wanted this to rotate every time that we did this. So it was at 45 degrees, so let's say that this one is gonna be at 30 degrees. So we want just a little additional rotation every time we do this. Well, there's an extension in the Sketchication extension store called Memory Copy. And so what that extension does is it basically gives you the ability to select an object, right click, and click on this Play It Again button. And so if I click on the Play It Again button, what that's gonna do is that's gonna repeat the translation between these different objects like this. So what it's doing is it's repeating the translation between here and here and creating a copy. So this gets rotated 15 degrees and then it repeats that over here. So each one of these is centered along the same point, but it's being rotated by that 15 degrees. So you can use this to repeat copies of different objects really quickly. This is also helpful for things like spiral stairs, things like that. All right, so sometimes you wanna create more complex assemblies that have copies in them. So one way to do that is to use the extension Profile Builder. So I will link to that in the notes down below. But Profile Builder is an extension that allows you to create smart profiles inside of SketchUp. So for example, um, if I wanted to create a railing along this path, so let's go with a steel railing like this one. What you would do is you would just click on it. And then you can just use the assembly dialog in order to create a copy or a rail that automatically copies in the different vertical supports and other things like that inside of SketchUp. So this is a great tool for creating things like railings, but you could also use it to create an assembly that places something like trees as well. So in addition to being able to create things like these railings, you could also set this up with a series of trees in here so that you could have like alternating trees that go in your model. So that's just another way to create some different copies of some things and add them really quick. And then sometimes you just wanna randomly place objects over an area. So for example, on this terrain, I'd like to pl place some copies of these trees. Well, the extension Scatter allows you to create copies of trees on something like a host. So in this case, we could set this as a host and then we're gonna bring this down a little bit because every one of these dots is where something's gonna be placed and we obviously don't want that many of these. So we'll bring this down like this, but then you can select objects to be scattered. So in this situation, for example, you can see how this would come in here and it would randomly scatter trees. So I could add that object, then I could add this object as well. But then if we click on the button for generate, what that's gonna do is that's gonna place copies of these trees along the surface. So you can use this to randomly create copies of things inside of SketchUp. Now I will note there are some performance things that you need to be aware of when you're doing this. So be very careful when you're scattering high poly objects like this. But this is another great way to create a number of random copies inside of SketchUp, which can then go to our rendering software as well. 
So leave a comment down below. Let me know if you're using any of these or if there's anything that I forgot. I just love having that conversation with you guys. If you want to learn SketchUp, make sure you check out the SketchUp Essentials course for more information. Um, I'd love to see you in the course. So not only for training, which there's a ton of, but also for the ability to ask questions and get help. Um, it's just a great place to learn SketchUp. But as always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.